Hello people, welcome one and all to Jojo's Learning Club. Hello guys, in my last video I have done two problems using partial fraction and in this video also I am going to introduce you two problems of partial fractions with linear factors. In this two problems you can see that either in the first problem the numerator is same as the denominator and in the second problem numerator is greater than the denominator. So what is the condition for doing a partial fraction? The denominator should be of denominator's degree should be greater than the degree of numerator but in the first case it is not. So what we are going to do we have to first do polynomial division and reduce it in a such a way that the degree of numerator is less than the denominator. So let's do the partial fraction. So I already covered these two problems. If you have any doubts, please do refer my previous video on partial fraction. So in this video, I'm going to do this one. So x square plus one by x square, x square minus three x plus two. Okay, so I'm, I have to first reduce it, right? So first I'm going to do x square minus three x plus two I'm going to do long division. So remember while you doing polynomial division, they take the first two terms here one. So I'm going to take here one x square and here one, right? x square, x square plus one into one. Okay. Now subtract it. It gets cancelled. Just write this minus three x here down. And again here it gets minus. So three x, right? by so so this is the final answer now you can reduce this and write it as 1 plus 1 minus 3x by x square minus 3x plus 2 i hope it's clear right now you can make that is how you do in long division with numbers you write the number plus reminder by divisor the same i have done oh wait sorry quotient plus reminder by divisor. Same I have done of uh, polynomial division too. Now you can see that the degree of numerator is one degree less than the degree of denominator. So now let's do the partial fraction for this problem, right? So one minus three X by X square minus three X plus two. Remember the formula X square minus SX plus P. So you have here minus two and minus one will give you some three minus three and also minus 2 into minus 1 is 2. So you can simply write this equation as 1 minus 3x by x minus 1 into x minus 2. Now you can break it into form a by x minus 1 into plus b by x minus 2. Do the cross multiplication here. So it would become a into x minus 2 plus b into x minus 1. So which is equal to 1 minus 3x, right? Now remember what you have to do. We have to take trial and error method. So I'm going to do trial and error and put the value first x equal to 1. So my 1 minus 3 into 1 is minus 2 and again 1 I will give you minus 1. So a's value is 2. It's very easy right. Now put x is equal to 2. What will happen 1 minus 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. Uh, 3 into 2 is minus 6. So 1 minus 6 is minus 5, which is equal to a will get 0 plus b into 2 minus 1, b. So b's value is minus 5. So now you can write this answer as 1 plus, what is the answer for this problem? a as 2, 2 by x minus 1 plus b as minus 5. You also you don't have to write here, you can just write here minus 5. So minus 5 by x minus 2. So this is the final answer for this polynomial expression. Okay. Now we have already covered this problem. And now let's do another problem where the numerator is greater than the denominator. Similar way we have to do polynomial expression first to break it down. So let's take a polynomial expression for x cube minus 2x square minus 4x minus 4. So this is our polynomial expression in the numerator and here x square plus x minus 2. So what you have to remember always, you have to always remember that the it should be written in the descending order of the degree. Okay, descending order means the highest degree should come at the first. So when you check, you have to multiply here with x. So x square into x cube then plus x square, right? 
plus x square minus 2 into x is minus 2x. Now subtract it minus 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 plus. Okay, this gets cancelled down minus 2x square. Minus 2x square minus x square is 3x square minus 3x square. Here it what it becomes 3x minus minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x minus 4. Again, repeat the same process. So to get you have to multiply here with minus 3. So minus 3x square and here x into minus 3. x into minus 3 is minus 3x. Again, minus 2 into mi minus 3 is plus 6, right? So plus plus minus gets cancelled down, minus 2x plus 3x is x, right, uh, x, okay, and here, minus 4, minus 6, minus 10, check it, it's right, right, minus 2x plus 3x, so, now you can write this in the form, x minus 3 plus, that is quotient, plus reminder, by divisor, also, while seeing this term, now you have to, Check whether this is a factorizable form. Yeah, it's already factorizable. I already can see that because minus 2 plus 1, uh, sorry, uh, 2 minus 1 only will give you 1. So I mean this value for this. And also minus 2, sorry, 2 into minus 1 will give you minus 2. So what are the factors for it? x minus 3 plus x minus 10 by x minus 2 sorry x plus 2 into x minus 1 right now we have to break this into partial fraction so let's start from starting x minus 10 by x plus 2 into x minus 1 so what is the formula for linear factors a by x plus 2 plus b by x minus 1 Okay, now I'm going to again factorize it. So A into, sorry, again I'm going to take the LCM so that the denominators are the same value, B into X plus 2. And this uh, LHS, it is X minus 10. So again, trial and error method. So trial and error. So the first value is, put X is equal to, I'm going to take this value as well. So put X is equal to 1. 1 when you add, it will become minus 9. And this will get cancelled, minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus uh, sorry 1 plus 2 is 3 so 3b b is equal to minus 3 you got the value for b already and now you have to put x is equal to minus 2 what would happen minus 2 plus minus 10 is minus 12 and here uh, it would become minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 and this would become b0 okay so now you know that minus 12 is equal to minus 3a minus and minus gets cancelled a is equal to 12 by 3 which is equal to 4 so you got the value for a as 4 and b as minus 3 so what is your final answer now this polynomial expression you can express as x minus 3 plus what's the value of a 4 by x plus 2 and b as minus 3 by x minus 1 so this is your final answer. I hope it's very much clear and I would uh, finishing off with linear factors. On my next video, I will show you more problems on repeated linear factors. So that's all for today's video and see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.